How to troubleshoot IPTV blank display, erratic display, frame freezing. In the private IPTV system deployed in a hotel, when the IPTV client is connected to a RE device using an Ethernet cable, the IPTV client may experience issues such as blank display, erratic display, or frame freezing. As shown in the topology, the IPTV server and the IPTV client are on the same layer 2 network. The IPTV server is connected to a core switch, which is usually an NBS 5200 series switch. The IPTV client is located in a guest room and is connected to an access switch, which is usually an NBS 3200 NBS 3100 series switch. Possible causes are as follows. First, cable slash port failure or insufficient interface bandwidth. Second, IPTV client abnormalities. Third, excessive multicast traffic overwhelming the device capacity. Fourth, multicast querier not configured. If an individual IPTV client experiences frame freezing or erratic display, it could be due to packet loss caused by cable or port failures. Follow the troubleshooting steps below. Log into the web interface of the access switch and choose local device home port info. Verify if the negotiated rate in the rate column is lower than the maximum rate supported by the IPTV client's network interface card. For example, the IPTV client's network interface card supports a maximum rate of 1000 Mbps, but the negotiated rate displayed is only 100 Mbps or 10 Mbps. Then, verify if the CRC FCS error count is not zero and keeps increasing, as checked every 5 minutes. If any of the above issues occurs, a cable failure is suspected. To address this, replace the cable, or perform a cross-test between a functioning IPTV and the problematic one to confirm the existence of a cable failure. If it is confirmed that the cable is faulty, replace it. If the RX or TX speed reaches 80% or more of the negotiated rate, it could indicate inadequate interface bandwidth. In such cases, verify the normal service flow size and IPTV bit rate with the customer. If the flow size is normal, please contact Wagia Intelligent Technical Assistant to assess if the device has sufficient capacity. If the issue is limited to certain IPTV clients and persists after troubleshooting the port or cable, there may be abnormalities with the IPTV client. In such cases, replace the problematic IPTV client with a functioning one and observe if the issue disappears. Follow the procedure in the second troubleshooting step to check if there is excessive multicast traffic on the IPTV access port and the switch port. If the RX or TX speed reaches 80% or more of the negotiated rate, it may indicate the presence of excessive multicast traffic. Excessive multicast traffic can cause the following issues. First, when the traffic surpasses the multicast forwarding capacity of the switch port or the switch itself, packet loss occurs, leading to erratic screen display or frame freezing on the IPTV client. Next, when there is an excessive amount of traffic on the access port of the IPTV client, often due to IGMP snooping being disabled, the IPTV may struggle to process all the traffic, leading to a blank display. To resolve the issue, First, configure IGMP snooping. Choose local device multicast global snooping to configure the IGMP version. IGMP v2 is used by default. Choose local device multicast IGMP snooping to enable IGMP snooping. Select the VLAN for IPTV service and click edit. On the pop-up window that is displayed, toggle on multicast status. Then, Click OK. Next, avoid using static multicast entries for the IPTV access port on the access switch. If the issue persists, please contact our technical support team by visiting the website. When no multicast querier is configured, the IGMP snooping enabled device will fail to learn multicast entries. 
In a typical Layer 3 multicast environment, the gateway has the IGMP or PIM enabled and acts as the querier, while Layer 2 devices, with IGMP snooping enabled, listen to IGMP messages to maintain multicast entries. However, the private IPTV network in a hotel environment is a Layer 2 network which does not have a querier by default because there is no gateway device on the network. In such cases, a querier needs to be configured separately. Only one querier can exist on a network, and if multiple querier's are configured, the one with the smaller IP address takes precedence. Devices on the network listen to multicast query messages to learn about multicast routing ports. Therefore, you are advised to set the querier on the switch that is the closest to the multicast source. Click Edit in the Action column in the querier list. On the pop-up window that is displayed, toggle on querier status and configure the necessary settings. Then, click OK to save the changes. Please note, First, the querier version cannot be later than the global IGMP version. If the global version is lowered, the query version also needs to be lowered accordingly. Next, if no source IP is configured for the querier, the management IP of the device is used as the source IP address of the querier. To follow this issue, comment on our video or send an email to us. See you in the next video.